first grade today we're going to be talking about something called perspective that is a really long fancy word all it means is how things look at different distances things that are near or things that are further away um, we know that things get smaller as they are further away so we are going to be making these little bird houses today and my bird house that's close up looks bigger than the actual house but that's because the house that the people live in is far away and then I put another little bird house in the middle just to show the perspective so for this project today I am using a sharpie to draw with I'm using watercolors if you have them to color most of the areas and I use colored pencil but you could use crayon if you have to color the smaller things. We'll be learning how to make a birdhouse and birds, and we will be learning all about perspective. Okay, so we are ready to make our birdhouses. You're gonna start off with your paper, portrait, not landscape, but portrait, because we need a lot of depth to go back. And I'm gonna start off by making my biggest birdhouse first. It's near the front of my paper. You can do it on either side or in the middle. That's your choice. I'm going to have mine off to the side a little bit. So I'm going to start by coming in a little bit, make a little dot. And I'm making the roof first. So I'm going to make a line down. Down for the roof. Now I want my roof to be a little thicker. So I'm going to double up my line. And I come down. And down. Now from the edges of my roof, I'm gonna do straight lines down, but not all the way to the bottom. I need to leave a, a part of the bottom for my stand of the house. And then I'm gonna join that up. And now I'm gonna make a big long rectangle. That is the bottom of the birdhouse. And then the stand. My stand needs little brackets here to hold it up to make it strong. I'm going to make the lines like that. Then I'm going to make the little hole for the bird to go in. And at this point you can add any decoration you want to your birdhouse. So maybe I'm going to add little hearts on this house. You could add dots, you could add lines, stripes, you decide. So that's my big birdhouse. Now I'm gonna come further away and have a birdhouse off in the distance. And we know that things are smaller or look smaller when they go further away. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna make a smaller birdhouse over here. Little dot, my roof down, double it up, two lines down. Maybe this is a taller birdhouse. I can make it a little taller. <coughs> And join it up, skinny rectangle, and this time this one is standing in the grass, so it's going to go all the way down. It's got a long stand, and these little brackets, I'm going to make a little fancy. And again, a little hole for the bird to go in. Maybe I can do that to that one too. And at the bottom of this one, I'm just going to put some grass just to cover up that bottom bit. Maybe you could add a flower there as well, if you like. Okay, so now far away in the distance, I am going to make a house. My house is going to be smaller than my birdhouse because it's far away in the distance. But it's going to be a little bigger than this birdhouse because it is a house for people. So I'm going to start off just by making a rectangle, or you could make it a square. I'm going to make my roof and a little chimney. I'm doing a very simple house. If you have a fancier way of doing a house, you can do that too. But I'm making a very basic house with four windows. For 
remember to join up your Sharpie. Don't go fast like me. Okay, so now, if you like, you can add some detail to your house, maybe some little bushes or a tree. And then the last thing I need to add before I add color, I need to add my horizon line. If I make my horizon line down here, these things will be floating in the sky. If I make my horizon line here, the house will be floating. My horizon line needs to come through my house, my furthest away object. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to stop at the house, come out on the other side. Okay. So actually, before we color, if you want to add some other details to your picture, oh, and we forgot the birds also. So I'm going to add a big bush here. Maybe there's some berries on it or flowers on it. I'm going to add some flowers. You can add any other things you think you'll see in a garden. Maybe you'll have some butterflies or dragonflies. And maybe you'll have different kinds of flowers from me. Okay, so now the birds, all important that I forgot about. I'm going to make a very simple bird. I'm going to do a circle for his head, a semicircle for his body, a little triangle nose, a beak, and an eye, a little wing, this wing's flying, a little tail, and then two little legs. Okay, I'm going to show you a different way to make a bird as well. I'm going to show you two easy ways and then if you have a different way, you can also try that. This is my easier bird. It's just like one shape for his whole body. So kind of like a teardrop shape that goes to the side. That's his beak, his eye, little wing and a little tail. Maybe you can practice those birds before you add them. If I add a little bird up here, he's going to have to be smaller. So little head, little semicircle body, little beak, little wings. He's so small, we can barely see him. Okay, so now we are ready to color. I am going to color my smaller things with colored pencil, just because they're easier to color. I'm going to do my bird with colored pencil. Oh, I can't see his little wing now. Let me do his wing again. Okay, so for my bigger areas, I'm going to use paint and I'm using watercolour. You can use whatever you have.
Okay, so there you have your birdhouses that are near and far away and your house that's really far away. I hope you had fun making these. I did.